I like it. Men, are you comfortable? You got your foot right on the stage. I like that. That's the confidence I want. I want to put my foot on a stage. That is some primo. And I can tell you're kind of tall. You have the build for putting a foot on a stage. I like it. I like it. How is everybody? Yeah. Hey. Seattle on a Saturday night. It's happening. It's really, you know, yeah. It was a beautiful day, and right at the end, they're like, how about some rain? You know? <laughs> this is a little too nice for Seattle. People are going to forget where they are for a second. Because that's the look of the local Seattle person. Just a little damp all the time. <laughs> Everyone looks like they just walked through a puddle. A little bit. Just a little damp. I've realized Seattle has two kinds of people, and it's the same look. It's a look of intensity of like, I'm gonna go change the world, or just another look of like, I tried, it didn't work out. <laughs> like, add in dampness, you know? Just a little wet and a little, ah, you know? <laughs> kind of the feeling here in Seattle. I love it, I love this street. This street, I think, sums up Seattle perfectly. Like right now, we're performing at a comedy club that used to be a strip club, you know? And yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> I feel like you wish it still was, all right? You're like, does it turn into one? No, no, <laughs> not with me up here. I don't have the confidence, all right? I have the type of body confidence that if I go to a hotel pool and there's someone there with abs, I leave that hotel, all right? <laughs> I actually think those, like, I think in shape people should have certain times they should be allowed <laughs> at the pool. You know, like a community pool, they have adult swim, and then they have kids swim, and then they have people training for the Olympics. <laughs> they should have that for people with abs, all right? You're allowed to go to the pool between this time and that time, and the rest is for us flabby people, you know? <laughs> Some people that have a misshaped nipple or something, we can go feel comfortable. So I can actually feel comfortable at the hotel pool taking my shirt off with that, just bam, bam, just right there with all those abs. My fiance's here. I don't appreciate how I'm feeling in this situation. She's pretending not to look. I'm pretending not to see that she can look. Come later, you know? But yeah, this will not be a strip club. Uh, that was the point of all of that. But you can still feel it in the walls that that used to happen here. <laughs> That's why this dude has his foot on the stage. You're like, I think this used to be a strip club. That, that foot, that's the spot I used to put it, when it was. You can feel it, man. Everyone on this stage has one or is about to get a therapist, you know? It's a little mixture of the two. I like it. It's on the street. Yeah, the building next door used to be a place where Ted Bundy used to pick people up to do Ted Bundy things to him. Uh, I don't know if you knew that. I feel like I just slipped you in on some local information. <laughs> and former strip club, Ted Bundy, and then there's just the cat sanctuary right next door. <laughs> it's the most Seattle thing ever. Just a mixture of, ah, oh, wow, whoa, yeah. <laughs> Those are all the sounds of Seattle, just wrapped up into one. <laughs> I love this city, man. I, this is the only city where I walk around and 10 times throughout the day, I'll be like, what's he doing? <laughs> it's the only city I go to where I'm like, what is that person doing right now? And I'm seemingly the only one that's interested. <laughs> like yesterday, I saw a dude smoke a, he, he just stopped and sat in a bush <laughs> and smoked a cigarette next to a preschool playground. And I'm the only one that took a look there was a park bench, and he's like, no, right here. <laughs> and you have, <laughs> and there's kids somersaulting right on the other side of a chain link fence. And I just walk by and I'm like, what's he doing? <laughs> and everyone else is like, why don't you mind your business? All right? <laughs> I feel like that's a lot of Seattle. Just people just doing weird stuff and everyone else going, why are you judging? And I'm like, I'm not, I'm noticing. <laughs> I'm documenting in my brain, <laughs> that's all. I'm not telling him to stop. That's good for the kid's lungs, you know? Get them tough for the next one. Anyway, it's very nice to be here. I had a good time, went downtown, uh, hopped on your light rail, which I love. I love, it keeps extending. Every time I come, it's a little further. They add another neighborhood I've never heard of. It's like, do you want to get up to Northgate? And you're like, maybe, all right. <laughs> I feel like next time I'm gonna come up, 
Vancouver. We made it all the way to <laughs> Vancouver. You're like, oh, I thought the Amtrak went there. You're like, yeah, but do you want it to take longer? You know, <laughs> hop, on, <laughs> hop on this one. I like how you guys run your light rail, too. It's clearly on the honor system. Yeah. <laughs> you can buy a ticket. You can. Or you can just get on. <laughs> it's so weird. That's the first place I see when I land at SeaTac. I get in, and then they test my integrity. As soon as I land, they're like, would you like to pay $5, or do you just want to get on? <laughs> That's, you know. That's Seattle right there. Like, let's see where you stand, you know? I'd pay for the ticket, because I don't want the awkwardness. I, I hate the awkwardness. Like, if a cop asked me, and I'd be like, I didn't know I'd see you. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you'd be here. Tried to save a few bucks with the old inflation. Yeah. I love it. I love your city. It's been a wild week, man. We finally got an end to the war. We got a winner to the war. Hell, yeah. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard <laughs> figured out that battle. <laughs> I was wondering, I'm like, is that war gonna end before the Ukraine one? <laughs> and it did not. Man, that, that court thing like really showed America's attention span. We were all in, support Ukraine, we stand with Ukraine. And then Johnny Depp and Amber Heard came out, we're like, put a sock in it, Ukraine, all right? <laughs> Need to figure out what happens with this pirate, all right? <laughs> If he wins, we get another movie. If he loses, we got to rewatch an old movie. I don't. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. I watched every episode of that court case. I watched every episode, and I, I think they're getting back together. I, I think some people are meant for each other. I think some people are perfectly equally toxic, and they're supposed to be with each other. They're meant for each other. Like one of them, you know, is a little bit drunk. The other one takes a dump in a bed. I think, I think that works. They just need to work on themselves a little. Johnny Depp may need to go to rehab. Amber Heard may need a litter box. Like, I think we can find common ground solutions here. Keep it together, man. You know what the main thing I liked about the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial is that he's cool all the time. He, that's not an act. He always dresses like that. He always looks like a pirate. <laughs> and I think it's very important to pick your look, you know? Because you're going to have to wear that look for a long time, you know? Like, I think when he picked his look, he's like, I'm not going to live that long, you know? I'm going to be able to just dress like a pirate that's going to court for the rest of my life. But then he made it to the age he made it to, and he starts to wake up in the morning like, damn it, I'm still alive? All right. Put on my hat with a feather, and <laughs> I'm 62 years old. Why am I still doing this? That's why you gotta don't pick a look you can't stick with. You know, that's why I used to have long hair and I cut it because I realized I had a look, and I'm like, I don't want to do this look in 30 more years. My hairline's already receding. I don't want to look like Gallagher. You know, <laughs> just eight feet of forehead and some hair going on in the back. So I cut it off, and this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to look like I sell insurance for a few more years. And then after that, shave it, you know? Look like that dude right there. That's where I'm, that's me in 10 more years. <laughs> and you're wearing a t-shirt with a hammer on it that says, this is not a drill. I love it. That, have you ever had a moment where you see yourself from the future, and you're like, that's exactly who I'm going to be? <laughs> Because I know your exact thought process when you put that shirt on. You're like, we're going to comedy. Huh? Bring it up. And, you, <laughs> and that's me. That's me to a T. Oh, man. <laughs> I love it. I like meeting myself from the future. 